What's up guys, Shima's Tutorial is back with another upload right onto my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to basically tell you how to fix every kind of crashing issue you're currently having with RimWorld. This is basically gonna be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you will perfectly know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue. But before we start right into the video, I just want to ask you guys or help me out as a little YouTuber as I am to just leave a subscription and a like onto my video. It will just cost you some seconds and to me, it's the world for me, so just take one or two seconds, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and I will be so, so happy for that. So without further ado, let's get right started. So if you have some crashing issues or something related to that, there are some things you can do, a lot of things you can do, and I will show you that now. So the first thing I would recommend doing is gonna be to uh, take your mouse, obviously, and go down to your very bottom of your screen where you see uh, your taskbar. So you're gonna right click it and hit Task Manager, this one. And what I want you to do next is gonna be really simple. So you're gonna to head to the uh, top left corner of your screen, click onto Processes, or if you are on Processes, stay on Processes. What I want you to do next is gonna to be to uh, basically look for your CPU and GPU usage. As you can see, it minus is 8% and 32%. So, and you are seeing which program, which application is currently taking a lot of GPU or CPU. Um, yeah, RAM. So what I want you to do is gonna be to uh, simply search for those programs which are currently running in the um, applications uh, tab or in the background process tab. And you're gonna right click them. And as soon as you right click them, this tab will pop up and I want you to go down to uh, the second thing where it says end task. So you're gonna do that to every single process which is currently running and has too much CPU, CPU usage this will decrease a lot of your uh, problems. So the next thing I want you to do is gonna be, again, top left corner, stay on the uh, task manager, and I want you to click on to store it up. So as soon as you click store it up, this tab will pop up. What I want you to do here is gonna be to disable every single process which you don't want to store it, you don't want to run any background, especially on low-end PCs, this will cause a lot of trouble, a lot of issues, and you don't want that, so basically, um, go to every single one which is enabled and you don't want them to start as soon as you start your PC. So um, right click it and click on to disable, enable, whatever. Uh, of course, disable. So you're gonna disable this for example. And as you can see here, a lot of my uh, applications are disabled because I had also uh, crashing issues. So if you want to decrease that, do that. Uh, another thing is gonna be to uh, go to performance. Again, top left corner, click on that. Um, I'm sorry, details, not performance. And uh, I've not running it uh, currently, but you're gonna search for the game and it doesn't really matter, just uh, let's say it's Dropbox and um, I don't want to start it right now. You're gonna right click it and click on the set priority and now you need to hover onto set priority and click onto or above or high, not real time. One of those two things, it really depends on which PC you're currently using, which, uh, yeah, which works better. So just try it out. Uh, once you're finished with that, you can basically uh, close your task manager again. Next thing I want you to do is gonna be to navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen where you're uh, gonna click onto your window symbol. You're gonna type in settings and open that up. Um, next thing I want you to do is gonna be to uh, click on the first one where it says system. And now, as you can see, this tab pops up, which is uh, named display. Um, this will help, if you just follow my steps, it will help you a lot. So I want you, to, if you have two monitors, obviously I have two, I have this one and this one. So um, I want you to identify your main monitor. If you have one, obviously you don't need to do that. Um, detect it and go down to uh, scale and layout, where I want you to change the size of text apps and other items to 100% as recommended. Another thing is display resolution. If you have um, another display resolution on your display than in your game, it's obviously, yeah, I mean, it's logical that your game will crash because sometimes it will cause issues. So just keep in mind that you want to have the same in-game resolution as your PC. And if you have in game like 1720 by 1070, I want you to change uh, your in-game resolution to your monitor's resolution or your monitor's resolution to your in-game resolution. Um, yes, next thing I want you to do is go to the left-hand side. I'm gonna click on the storage. And um, now I want you to click onto the blueprint of text, like configure storage sensor right now. Click on this one and now I want you to basically copy my settings. So as you can see, I have storage sensor on every week. 
um, delete temporary files that my apps aren't using, 14 days, 60 days, and afterwards you're gonna click on the clean now. I won't do that because it takes a lot of time to clean your temporary files in the background. So this will help you a lot, just freeing up some storage. Um, go back, uh, now hit power and sleep. So in this tab, you won't really do um, anything. You're gonna go to the right hand side, clicking on additional power settings. And now I want you to, um, you need to check it for yourself because some PCs work better with other settings. Uh, I want you, I thought balance, so you can choose high performance and could also work or something on the height additional plans. You need to click on this little check mark here and this will pop up. And now you need to choose it for yourself. It's really, you can't like, not every single PC is working with um, every single performance uh, mode. So you need to check it for yourself. Once you're finished with that, you can basically uh, close the settings again and uh, take your uh, launcher where you downloaded the game for me, it's Steam. Uh, you're gonna take that, you're gonna right click it. Once you right clicked it, I want you to uh, go down to properties. As soon as you click properties, this will pop up. And now you clicked onto compatibility. Once you click compatibility, I want, uh, want you to basically copy my settings. So let's quickly run through it. Enable run this program in compatibility mode four. Uh, check it. And now you need to choose the latest Windows versions. For me, it's eight. Uh, disable reduce color mode. Disable run in 640 by 480. Disable this, disable full screen optimizations. Enable run this program as an administrator and disable register this program for restart. Now I want you to click on to apply and okay. And uh, afterwards you need to restart your PC and afterwards you will see this little administrator symbol right onto your, um, yeah, onto your launcher. And now I want you to launch your launcher and launch your late game over the launcher. And if this doesn't work, you're gonna do this to the game obviously also. So you're gonna right click it, properties, uh, compatibility mode and um, do the same settings. Uh, what I want you to do next is gonna be to navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen again. Open up your settings again. Um, now we need to go to gaming. Once you're gaming, I want you to uh, turn basically just the Xbox game bar off because I mean, it's obvious that you don't want to have something running in the background, especially on low end PCs, this will cause a lot of trouble. So just keep in mind that you want the Xbox game bar to uh, keep that off. Afterwards, click onto captures. Once it captures, I want you to go to background recording, go to record in the background while I'm playing the game. And obviously, please guys, turn this off. Me, I'm recording with OBS Studio, so Open Broadcaster Studio that's working for me, but don't ever record something with Windows. You don't want to do that, it won't help. It just decreases your performance, especially if you don't know if you're recording something in your background. So turn this off. Um, obviously also audio, you don't need that and video frame rate doesn't really matter. Uh, so just keep your background recordings off. Next thing, game mode. So now difficult, You, it, for me it's working. So if you can turn on game mode, it will work. For some PCs, for others it won't. So just check it for yourself. Keep it on, check it, keep it off, check it, which one works better, you keep with that setting. So, uh, go back once, and um, go back once, and now you're gonna click onto update and security. Wait for it. So, uh, as you can see, my restart is required because I need a Windows update. So now, I know guys, this would sound a little bit basic, but trust me, it will help you a lot with every kind of issue you're currently having. You need to check for your updates on every single driver you're currently having uh, related to um, yeah, your Windows options, especially your Windows. If your uh, system, uh, your running system is updated, it will increase your performance a lot and help you a lot with every kind of issue you're currently having. So just keep in mind that you want to uh, keep your Windows at the latest version. So once you update it, as you can see, I need to update it, uh, go back, well, just um, close this tab. And what I want you to do next is gonna be also to update your driver for uh, your graphics card. So if you have Nvidia, go to Nvidia GeForce, download the latest version, you know what to do. And uh, afterwards, download the latest uh, version of your uh, graphics card, and this will help you a lot with every kind of issue you're currently having, and especially with crashing issues. So, uh, because of some games, you need to have minimum uh, things your graphics card can have, or your driver has to be the latest one to play the game, and this will cause crashing if you don't have that. So just trust me and do that. And that should be it, guys. I think that's it. Yeah, um, 
I hope that you enjoyed watching the video. I hope that I could really help you out with this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment, or a subscription right onto my YouTube channel. It would really help me out as a little YouTuber as I am. And yeah, guys, if you have any kind of questions, just feel free to uh, type in a comment. Just ask me whatever you want. I will uh, help you if I can. And uh, yeah, guys, I wish you a wonderful uh, day and see you in the next one.